Welcome back to Tennessee Frugal Craftsman. It's been a few days since I posted. I've been doing uh, eve and trim work here, and so it's been a little uh, slow moving, especially just working in the evenings with the days getting shorter. And so um, I wanted to kind of give you a quick update and overview of what I've done and kind of how, you know, the, the costs and whatnot, how, I can, how I've saved money. So let me show you. So this is got all of the eve work. Oh, guess we've got a sun sun shining right in it. All the eve work is now done. Um, just needs to be painted. Uh, I've got to put the uh, metal starter strip on for the for the uh, roofing yet. But I'll go around here and give you an overview. I've also since our last video put the rest of the windows and doors in, with the exception of this door and the man door up there and so I've got that done as well just let me just kind of pan around here sorry going a little sideways so this is the side facing my wood mill I've got the, the tar papers on and I I'm hoping I'm hoping to get that on the next few days. I'm not exactly sure what my schedule's looking like right at this point, but um, yeah, I know there's bad weather coming. So uh, you can see here we've got th the three windows are now all in and complete. Come around. Now the most difficult part, as you can imagine, was doing this side, done it all off the ladder. I'll, I'll step out around from a different angle here and show you. Sorry, not really showing you much there at the moment. You can see there, got that all done as well. I just caulked it all so I can't really paint it until another day. Back here. You can see here I've got the uh, man door in now. Let's come around. Got the man door and the two windows over on this side. And then uh, the angle this way. So, a lot of eve work has uh, taken me, I think I started last Friday after work. Today is a Tuesday, so I did Friday, part of day Saturday, Monday evening. I might have even done, now that I think of it, I might have done another evening in there as well. It's Tuesday. Last Tuesday I was putting, or last Thursday, sorry, I was putting in the doors and windows. So, now I'll show you what I did here. Um, I had salvaged off a job where they were building a house and using uh, this type of hardy board. And we'll zero in here on it. This is called Raindrop. You can see kind of the texture of it. I think it's called Raindrop. Anyway, it just it, it's it's uh, not a smooth surface, which is nice because it hides a lot of imperfections. What I did, because the hardy board is about, what, three-eighths, a little less than three-eighths uh, thickness, uh, I cut that in six-inch wide strips, and then some, got some over here, they were five and a half. And so what I did is the six-inch strips went in underneath so that was the uh, overhang, and the six-inch boards were also 
what I used on the face. They worked out just night, just right. And so the, the shingles are actually going to come down and come right out over that lip, probably about an inch. I'm not putting drip edge on this here because it's so steep. The drip edge, uh, you can't get anything. It, come, it would come out too far over and there would really be nothing to catch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do drip edge up around this area here and then just let this run long. So if I ever do put in uh, uh, gutters or whatnot, we can just put the gutters right up underneath of the, the, uh, the shingles, the edge of the shingles there. And so um, then what I did is after I ripped, because those are in sheets, those sheets run from, I mean, because they're just random sizes, but technically I think they're supposed to be 4x12, what they were originally. So uh, most of the stuff was just pieces that I got. And so I knew I was going to have to have at least one joint on that 21 foot, 21 foot long side. And so I ended up with one there and just a small one on the far end. But all the other ones, I had long enough pieces just to make one piece. So they, they did a really nice job because they're nice and they're all the only joint is in where they meet. Uh, and then... Uh, what I found is that because it's cement board, I was using, I'll just come over here, show you what I was using for nails. What they are is a, an inch and a, see if I can zero, zoom in on this. My camera doesn't want to focus on it. They are inch and a half long box nails, and those are are galvanized as you can see here uh, but because they were because they were uh, very small they're only an inch and a half what I had to do is I had to take the uh, my gun here uh, drill and with the hammer drill and just one for making uh, making uh, holes in cement and I just pre-drilled uh, I started doing that towards the end, especially on that back side when I was up on the ladder. Uh, because about 50%, at some points, about 50% of the nails wanted to bend. Now, if you got a good straight hit with your hammer, you're fine. You can... Uh, that will work. The, the, other, the other nails... Uh, the nails will work without having to pre-drill them. But it does help when you're in a very difficult spot to pre-drill. Um, but anyway, the... Uh, Inside now is, as long as the wind doesn't blow off the tar paper, until I get my shingles on. I just picked up my architectural shingles this, this morning, or this afternoon. Uh, those, probably looking at, somewhere's around $800 just for the, the shingles. It's unreal what stuff is costing now. Those shingles are running about $36 a bundle. What happened to the days of $15 a bundle? I'm telling you, they're certainly has changed in the cost. Now they're supposed to be lifetime shingles so hopefully I won't have to worry about them again. But uh, yeah I got uh, hopefully enough of that uh, that siding, that salvage siding to do most of it, most of the building and if I do need to pick up a couple more sheets I will. But I'm just going to rip them into uh, one by or six inch wide and make them uh, do like clapboards with them. Uh, hardy board clapboards with them and so it's going to be a little bit of work extra work but uh, long term I think that you know cement board should last as long as I'm around that's for sure so and plus you can always change the color of the paint and so I'm I'm curious I, I need your input um, you can put it in the comments below but I'm debating we're debating about what color to paint this building the trim's going to be white the roof's going to be black and so my wife said, oh, you got to make it the color of most barns, which is red. And so we could do red. Uh, other option would be to do something like um, a green. I want to do kind of a forest green uh, on the house, a darker green on the house, because we're here in the woods, just to kind of give it, uh, you know, kind of have it uh, kind of uh, blend in with the, with the uh, woods and the surroundings. But um, the other option is, like I said, to try to match... The siding on the house that we'll eventually have and put green on and so 
What do you think? Do you think it'll look better red or green? Let me know. Anyway, um, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Like I said, with all of the the uh, uh, assembly of the door, putting in the doors and the windows and getting everything watertight, um, it's taken pretty much the equivalent of about three days by the time I did all the eave work and got all the windows and doors in. And so, of course, I also had to wash the windows because they were in really bad shape, they were really dirty. And I replaced several of the seals on them as well. I had picked up some of the rubber seals for the bottom. And so everything should be pretty good to go moving forward. So I'll come around here, give you one last kind of panorama of it, and I'll step back. Um, sorry I didn't film the eve process, but it was a slow, slow process. So it would have taken a while. It would have taken a lot of film. So. Anyway, that's what it looks like, um, and as always, I appreciate you joining me and, and uh, taking part in the process, and so until next time, uh, if you would, please like and subscribe, and we will uh, catch it. Uh, I think my next step is to put the roof on, so do the painting of the eaves and then put the roof on, so until then, you have a great day.